bite, 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 a four-sided plane rectangular figure with opposite sides parallel. This tool in itself is awesome. You can, if you don't want the toolbar on the left and you'd rather look at it on the right, they have that too. <laughs> so, but the cool thing about it is you can view the students thinking um, when the students turn this in. Basically, I can, so I'm going to be recording. Well, no, I just stopped. Okay. It annotates the think the thought process of what the students are doing as they're doing it a dot right there you can graph uh, points very very easily take your shapes tool get a line and uh, voila you've graphed your equation <laughs> so here it is if you have chrome if you are using google classroom if you are Sending students PDFs, um, you should be using Kami. I've seen tutorials online before. I haven't clicked on them. I haven't looked at them. I've heard about it. And no, I have not believed until now. Um, whoever invented this program had to be a teacher or had to understand education because this is amazing, okay? So I just wanted to throw that out there. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Shida, and I am here to give you another tutorial on Kami. So in this tutorial, we are going to walk you through starting with Google Classroom, which we are in right now, and um, then we are going to, so we're going to take a look at the teacher view, we're going to take a look at the student view, and um, we're going to go through all of the different tools, um, some little tricks that I found that work a little bit better, and to help you be more efficient when it comes to writing equations. So I can't wait, let's get into it. So we're going to start in our demo class and I have a classwork assignment and um, I'm gonna, it's the lesson zero worksheet. And right here it says that it's a PDF and you can open it via Kami. So I'm gonna click on it right here. Um, sometimes in the student view, this button is not there. If I hit this button right here, uh, it's gonna open my screen um, in the Kami extension. Um, but just in case that's not there, you can always hit this where it says open with, annotate with Kami, and that will take you there. And if you can't see this or this, you can always go to these three dots right here and click open in new window. And then that will guarantee that this button will appear. Um, come on, this button right here, open with. And so it'll guarantee it to be there and you can annotate with Kami. So I'm gonna click on that. Like I said, that blue button in the beginning, if it's there, you, that's the way you wanna go. Um, but if it's not there, um, then you want to go um, follow those steps. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and hide me right here because I want to be able to um, show you some things and I don't want to be blocking your view, so I will hide me. So um, this is what the, um, the PDFs look like. So you can assign a bunch of documents at once and then you can go into Google Classroom and say, um, hey, I want page two in your uh, lesson zero worksheets, and they can come here and zoom out so that they can see the whole page after they've written on it and annotated. They can come and take a screenshot of page two and turn it in, or this button right here will turn in directly to Google Classroom, but it'll turn in the whole document, so all of the PDFs will be turned in. So right now I'm gonna uh, show you a little bit of the tools and um, I'm not going to go through all of them. Of course, this would be a really long tutorial if I did, but it's really, um, it's really cool. So if I don't know what archaeologist means, I can go to dictionary um, and um, I can highlight the word and it can tell me what it, that, that means. So awesome. So parallelogram, if I don't know what it means, bite, 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 a four-sided plane rectangular figure with opposite sides parallel. This tool in itself is awesome. So text-to-speech, we all know what that is. You speak and it types. Markup tools, you can highlight. So if you want to highlight the key terms, you can. You can change the colors. You can do green highlighting for math terms um, and so on and so forth. You can do a box highlighter and highlight a whole... Um, box or you know so command z or control z depending on what system you're using will um, undo so that's the markup tools you have strike through underline and the more colors you can comment now this is also like one of the coolest things so you can do text comments students can do video comments so click anywhere on the screen and you can um, basically i can so i'm going to be recording okay and now they are um, it is recording everything, well, no, 
I just stopped it. So now it's recording everything that I'm saying. So I can literally, if I'm the student, I can go to my drawing and I can say, all right, so I'm, I'm thinking of two plus two equals four. I'm thinking that five X plus nine is 10. So I need to um, subtract nine from both sides. And right now I'm using the just the mouse, so it looks really bad. But um, the cool thing about it is Sorry, I'm just erasing my things here. But the cool thing about it is you can view the students thinking um, when the students turn this in. Basically, I can, so I'm going to be recording. Well, no, I just stopped. It. Okay, so it annotates the think, the thought process of what the students are doing as they're doing it. I think that is the most amazing thing that ever, like I've ever discovered. It, I'm at a loss of words. So they can comment multiple ways and you can comment back to them. And it's just a good way to have the students see your face um, again through this virtual learning. It's just unfortunate that we can't be face to face, but it is what it is. Have a positive attitude about it and we'll get through it. So of course there's a text box and for especially math, they have this equation tool, but you can only do one line of equations at a time and you can uh, insert any of the symbols here. So if I wanna do um, 2x plus 4 equals 10 um, and if I want let's say I want to subtract 4 from both sides I'm gonna have to um, do this to both sides and it might not come out the best it's a little bit off-centered and it's not in line so you can hover over and use the um, the arrows to move it here and move this one where you want. Um, but that takes a long time as well, especially if you're gonna go through and do a really long equation. You can change the colors. Um, and then you can always go to the shapes tool, get a line and insert your line. There's so many things that you can do with this app, but I wanna show you, instead of using the equation tool uh, to write your equations down, I'm going to show you, so you just hover over the shape if you wanna delete it, and you go to the trash can, and the same thing with each individual number, and that's why it brings me to which what alternative I wanna show you. So if you go to the text box instead, again, make sure your font is the right size that you want it, and you create a text box. Okay, so after, once you um, put the text box in, you can go to this function button right here, this f of x function, and it's the same thing. So you have your, uh, your text, it's just the math, um, it has all of these options, and then right here is the equations, just as it would be in your equations tool over on the left. I'm going to create a text box, I'm going to start writing 2x plus 6 equals 10, so I'm going to click enter and you can if you um, space too fast it's gonna create periods or you can just space really quickly um, and then just go back and delete the periods which is what I would suggest so if you wanted to, um, to subtract six from both sides I would just go back delete the periods um, and then you can always put in your lines later you can um, show here that you're left with 2x and then if you want to um, line up your equal sign it's equal to four and then again press enter again um, and maybe you can um, like I said put the line in after so you're going to be dividing by two to each side um, and then if you delete the period it'll line up that too and then again hit enter and you'll have um, your x by itself equals and then this would have been four divided by two so it would be two so if I click off of this, I can just go one time and go to my shapes tool, get that line and insert the lines. So I can say, okay, those would cancel out. This would be divided by two, divided by two, that would cancel out. And then I can get my circle shape because I love to have my kids circle their answers. If you're a math teacher, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and there you go. So you would have your equation and your answer and it only took me a minute to get done. So is it longer than if you would just write paper pencil? Yes. But are we in a time where we need to make accommodations and we need to just say, hey, you know, it is what it is? Um, yeah. Or that That's if any time um, was that time, this is that time. So um, 
yeah, like I said, this tool is, these tools are amazing. Um, you can insert an image. So I can insert an image from my computer, my Google Drive. Um, you can do a Google search uh, of an image, just like in Google Slides. You can do a sticker. Um, it's amazing how many things that they have. So um, you can hi uh, hover over and it says the, so this one says good effort, great idea, A plus, three stars. You can add your signature, so you can upload from an image, draw a signature, draw a signature on phone. This is like amazing. You can, if you don't want the toolbar on the left and you would rather look on it on the right, they have that too. <laughs> so this, I mean, like I said, we didn't go over everything uh, that this has to offer, but um, what it does have to offer and what we did cover is just amazing. So let's say I go to a Google search and I had searched this grid and I'm going to, um, take a screenshot. Okay, then I'm going to go back and insert image from my computer and it should be my most recent. And there it is. So it took me like 10 seconds to find a picture and then I can use my drawing tool. I can use um, a thicker stroke tool and just put a dot right there. Um, a dot right there. You can graph uh, points very, very easily. Take your shapes tool, get a line, and uh, voila, you've graphed your equation. <laughs> um, if you want to put arrows on the end, you can always include those. Obviously, it wouldn't be that thick, but you get my drift. Um, I did create a uh, tutorial to show all of you guys how to go about getting this. Um, Cami extension on your um, Chrome browser. So if you want to see that, I talk about how to sign up for it in order for it to connect to your Google Classroom, to connect to your Google Drive. So if you want to see that tutorial, I'll have that linked down in the description below, um, below this video. So yeah, I just want to show you really quick. If I were to open a new, um, a new browser, or a new tab and I click on this um, Kami extension, the one that I described in the video, it's gonna take you to this um, screen right here, the home screen. And if you've already opened, so say we've already opened this in our Google Classroom and we wanna just go open the assignment very quickly, you don't have to go through your Google Classroom. You just go to the uh, Chrome extension here and you scroll down and you go to your recent. So the recent document that we worked on was that eighth grade lesson zero document and here it is um it takes a couple of seconds but now here it is <laughs> i've been sitting for way too long today and it's been one of those days so i hope you guys learned something new and i really really hope you consider watching the video um that i told you about so it's all about how it's a student tutorial on how to upload and um, get the Kami app and extension onto their computer. It's very extensive. It goes through every everything, how to turn an assignment, how to start from Google Classroom. It is an extensive tutorial, So, um, and it is short. Um, the video does, if you just want that tutorial, it does start at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, there's a little bit before it where I'm showing the kids how to take a screenshot with a Chromebook and so on and so forth. So um, if you do watch that video, then start at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And as always, go out there and enjoy the rest of your day and do something great. Bye, you guys.